We've got a bike here today with a great problem. Dash lights quit working. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to do some training with these folks on the uh, power probe. Okay, you can see here, we're just going to hook up the tool simple enough to the positive and negative. The first thing that we've already went ahead and done is found the wiring diagram so we know which color wires that we're dealing with. As you can see, the red light on the tool is indicating that we have battery voltage present at the correct wire color going to the component. Here's the cool thing about the power probe. Check this out. Now switching to the ground wire of the part that we're checking, the dash lights in this case, we know it's a black wire with a white stripe. And by that green light turning on that tool, what that tells us is that the wire harness on the motorcycle has great integrity to the ground circuit. This is telling me I have power here, have a good ground. This light should light, and it is not. So go ahead and uh, disconnect the connector. And I know that now I want to test just the component itself. Okay, let's make sure we understand this tool. From these leads here, this red positive power wire is the forward rocker switch. The green is if I want to add a ground, or in the case of what we're doing, is we're supplying the ground ourselves. All right, I love the power probe's ability to power something up on the bench. I could take the power probe using my own power supply. And if you take a look here, we've identified these as our gray is our positive, and this is our negative in our harness here to make that bulb light. I'm gonna take my positive and put it on here. I take my alligator clip and I'm gonna back probe it into the connector so I don't hurt it. When I hit that rocker switch forward, let's think about this. Our little x-ray vision in here, okay? I'm gonna loop this around here, okay? is hooked to that switch. When I rock it forward, the power keeps going there, it goes through there, goes into my connector, through my bulb, back out to ground, because I'm now supplying the ground with the power probe tool. That's why it's so cool with that little alligator uh, clip connection there. First thing I wanna do is prove that this bulb has the ability to work. So I could clamp around here. Okay, we'll go ahead and test this and the bulb itself can work. So we know that's good. Instead of you having to cut this whole harness apart and try to physically look at it, we could test that it's good by using this power source, pushing a little voltage through there and seeing that I have a complete path. So how we do that is I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna just use the black and white wire first. That would be our ground wire. Take a new electrical connector and back probe it into the desired wire. Clamp the alligator clip to that connector. Is that wire good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just like we did before, I'm going to go to the gray wire and I have nothing. As you cut the harness open, use care not to cut anything or create damage. Just try here and that seems to pull out. Uh oh, what do we got? Broken wire. There's our break. There's our break, right? So we need to cut this back a little further, find this other end. So why don't we go ahead and why don't we test and prove that we can make those lights work and it's just one broken wire. Just repeat the process that failed earlier, the ground of the black and white and power to a gray. Boom. What do you think of that? Looks like Christmas. Sweet. They right, work. Cool. That's our lesson today for the power probe. Keep, Keep wrenching. wrenching. <laughs> if you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.